Shoe's friend Tina was a sweet little rickshaw. She had pretty pink paint. All the tourists who visited Funpour loved to take her picture. Oh, look at that little rickshaw. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, her paint's lovely. Let's get her picture. Hello, little tootler. May we take your picture? <laughs> sure. One day, when Tina was driving Tina, by the Fun Poor Mart... Your picture's in a magazine. <laughs> Why, that's me. Everyone's right. I do have the prettiest pink paint ever. I really am beautiful. You're beautiful, little rickshaw. <laughs> I know. Don't you want to take a picture of me? Tina grew very proud of the way she looked. In fact, she became too proud for her own good. Hello, Tina. You look very pretty today. I do, don't I? Don't you envy me, Bobby? Don't you wish that your paint was as beautiful as mine? And that everyone would take your picture, too? Huh? Don't be so proud, Tina. Bobby is beautiful, too. She may not have paint that's as beautiful as yours, but she's very beautiful on the inside. Hmm. You're jealous of me, too, Raju and Charlie. Mm. Gee, Tina's becoming too proud of her beauty. Oh, if only she'd realize that beauty isn't just about having pretty paint. One day, Raju's cousin Nanda came to Funpour. She was a pretty little rickshaw, too, with paint as beautiful as Tina's. <laughs> Hello, Raju. Hello, Tina and Charlie. <laughs> Oh, look at that little rickshaw! She's beautiful, too! What lovely paint! Let's get her picture! Huh? Hey! Come back! I'm more beautiful than she is! <laughs> you sure look pretty today, Nanda! Gee! Thank you, Bobby. Tina grew very jealous of Nanda. <laughs> the next day... Hi, Nanda. I'm going to the top of Jupna Hill for a picnic. Would you like to come along? I'd love to, Tina. Follow me, then. So Nanda went with Tina to the top of Jupna Hill. Would you mind holding this can for me while I put the blanket on the ground? Sure, Tina. That's tar, and you've dropped it all over my paint. Oops. How careless of me. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. You did that on purpose, Tina. You threw the can hard so that the tar would spill all over me. You've ruined my paint, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> Nanda's no longer beautiful. There's only one beautiful little rickshaw in fun for now. Me. And then something terrible happened. Oh no, my wheel's stuck, and there's no one here to help me. How am I going to get out? Huh? Oh no, it's going to rain too. What am I going to do? Tina tried very hard, but she just couldn't free her wheel. And then Nanda drove by. Uh, Tina, is your wheel stuck between those rocks? Yes, Nanda. <laughs> I can't get it out. <laughs> Don't worry, Tina. I'll help you get it out. Nanda helped Tina free her wheel. And there you are. Thanks. And oh. then Nanda helped Tina get to Funpour. Oh, go 
Girls, what happened? Are you all right? We're fine, everyone. Don't worry. How did you get that tar on your paint, Nanda? Uh, well, it was an accident, Raju. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Let me tell everyone what happened. Tina told the others what she had done to Nanda and how Nanda still helped her out. Gee, Nanda, I'm so proud of you for helping Tina out, even though she was mean to you. And I think you really are beautiful. <laughs> but Nanda's paint has tar all over it. She's no longer beautiful now. <laughs> You're wrong about that, Tina. Nanda's still very beautiful, for beauty is as beauty does. Huh? Beauty is as beauty does? What does that mean? It means Nanda's beautiful because she does beautiful things. And not just because of the way she looks. That's right. Beauty isn't just about having beautiful paint, since paint peels off and fades away with time. But if you're kind and help even those who've been mean to you, you will shine and always be beautiful. Gee, I understand now. You really are beautiful, Nanda. <laughs> Tina asked Mr. Motoji to give Nanda a special cleaning to make up for what she had done. She understood that true beauty comes from the good you do and not from the way you look. <laughs>